Hello powerful galactic beings, welcome back to another video. Dear sacred star people of light and divine wisdom, I send you nothing but supreme positive energy and vibration of the cosmos. Over many years of reincarnation, we have been wounded multiple times, and so many of us are still suffering the effects of their past life wounding till this present lifetime. Although illnesses relating to experiences in a past life are hard to understand, it is only through a true comprehension of human subtle energy anatomy, and the reality of reincarnation that the meaning of disease may be entirely understood and remedied. Meditation is a powerful tool by which individuals may come to understand the meaning behind their illnesses and the lessons, which must be learned before they can truly be well. Meditation holds the key to understanding the interlocking nature of the physical, astral, mental, and higher spiritual selves. Each integral energetic element works to assist the soul in developing its many facets, and to understand its own true higher nature. In its earthly sojourns and experiences, the soul comes to comprehend its own higher spiritual qualities through selfless acts of love, service, and caring. When the physical personality has difficulty in expressing these most basic lessons of soul development, physical diseases may be acquired as learning experiences. Depending upon the blockage of expression within the personality, dysfunctions will appear in various chakras. The abnormal flow of subtle energies through the chakras is then translated into physical illness in a particular organ. Through meditation, the personality may come to discover the true meaning behind the physical illness with which it is afflicted. If the person can then correct that problematic emotional and spiritual dysfunction, the disease will often improve or completely abate. Of course, there are additional karmic factors which enter into the equation which make the issue somewhat more complex. But the basic idea still applies. The real reason to meditate is to achieve enlightenment. Enlightenment might be defined here as a more cosmic or energetic perspective of the structures of consciousness, a feeling of unity with all life forms, and an understanding of the spiritual working behind physical reality. This higher level of perception will ultimately allow the individual to comprehend the meaning of his or her life in relationship to others and to the universe in general. This is what is referred to as a more cosmic perspective. Meditation may ultimately allow humans to come into closer relationship and greater comprehension of God the Creator. It is said that God created human beings in the divine image. As each soul was created in that first moment, God separated into smaller beings of light which were energetic representations of the original vast beingness. Through the conscious evolution of these lesser gods and the holographic connectivity of the universe, God could enrich and develop the tremendous potential for diversity and self-knowledge inherent in supreme consciousness. These primal beings of light, or souls, developed ways of manifesting the ethereal energies of their consciousness through denser forms of expression. The denser forms, called physical bodies, would allow them to experience through their senses the wonders and beauties of the evolving planets. Also, it would allow them to experiment with the expression of their emotional nature through interactions and relationships between themselves, their environment, and the other sentient life forms manifesting upon the planets on which they chose to incarnate. Because no entity could develop itself in all possible ways through the course of a single lifespan of these dense vehicles of expression, a continuous cycle of regeneration and rebirth, known as reincarnation, was created. During each lifetime, the incarnating soul is able to partake of many diverse experiences which allow it to explore the wonders, joys and sorrows of human existence. Through hit or miss, and reward or punishment, the consciousness of the soul, projected through earthly bodies, can learn and experience planetary life through every conceivable variation of the human form. Via the reincarnational cycle, each soul comes to know the splendor and achievements, as well as the difficulties and sadnesses, of each of the existing races and colors of peoples. All souls come to experience life as the pinnacle of high society as well as the simplicity and daily toil of the farms and fields. All conscious entities find out how life differs between being male and female in the different societies. Through each of these varied experiences, the soul comes to know itself and to better understand its own emotional, physical, and spiritual nature, as well as the many different expressions that physical human life allows. Perhaps most importantly in its earthly sojourns, the soul comes to appreciate and experience the nature of love in its many different forms, and develops a greater compassion and caring for all of God's creations. 
All souls are spiritual beings of light which remain energetically connected to the Creator and the Creator's universe through a holographic connectivity relationship. All souls have evolved as unique but diverse manifestations of the single divine principle, also known as the Law of One. As the souls become enriched through their experiences, so too does the Creator come to grow, and evolve in a greater knowing of His Self and infinite expression. In spite of this unity with God and the universe, the souls temporarily lose the memory of their spiritual origins after incarnating into dense physical bodies. In reality, the higher spiritual bodies of each soul maintain a cosmic awareness and connection to the God Force. Only the projected fragment of the soul's total consciousness which inhabits the dense physical form loses the memory of its origins. The earthly personalities forget that they are manifestations of the One Supreme Intelligence, as the perceptual mechanism of their brains and bodies create a physical sense of separation from each other, as well as from their Creator. Partly because of this sense of separation from God, human beings have created religion and its rituals in an attempt to reunite themselves with the creative forces of nature and the physical universe, which seemed outside of themselves. Human beings forget that the Kingdom of God is already within each of us. The star seeds reincarnated during this timeline to teach and remind us of this simple forgotten truth of who we are. And we must tune within, raise our frequency and consciousness, and connect with our true self, because we are in for some very challenging times ahead. Nibiru has already arrived in our solar system, and is here as a catalyst for change. And the global elite will continue their infighting as they play out the dramas of the past. Listen powerful beings, whatever the elite and the leaders are doing, is the reflection of what is happening from above. Do not get this twisted, the game is already over and the end game is at play. You and me and the rest of humanity are to step out of our limited 3D way of thinking and behaving, and remember that we are creator gods and souls. We each created this global drama and chose to incarnate at this time in order to replay the parts we wanted to change, the parts we were unable to change in past times. Remember that the global elite has the unsavory and unappreciated role of reflecting back to us the collective darkness we carry within. Keeping in mind the higher understanding of the dark, the souls who love us the most play the darkest roles in our lives. This means in our private lives, nationally and globally. They must also love us enough to wake up every day knowing they are hated, reviled, ridiculed, rejected, judged and condemned. They must live knowing little if any real love. Their only hope is that we remember this, grow up, stop looking outside ourselves for the villain and look within. Once we make the necessary change, we release them from blame and thank them for being willing to show us the part of ourselves we were trying to change. This is why the Nibiruans do not get into who did it. They realize that in the end, it doesn't matter, because all is done for soul evolution. This is also a path to our spiritual awakening orchestrated for our soul evolution. This process is a very methodical and well-concerted process. This awakening involves realization of your becoming one with the universe. You are always one, the universe. Know it, acknowledge it, and work as if that's the case. It's us who are ignorant and caught up in our own things, so can't realize it. Slowly by meditation or any other means you are able to calm down, break away these barriers, and it becomes awakening. I hope this video was really helpful, see you in the next video. Peace, love and life.